now move on to the next item, uh, item number eight, council reports. The chair will recognize council member Bobby Howard for a report. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the citizens of uh, this, this fine city of Snellville for, for allowing me this opportunity to serve as your council member. Um, one of the things that, um, that I'm very proud of is, is to be a citizen here in, in Snellville. And um, one of the things that, that I want to try to do over the next few years is to try to remind folks here in Snellville that they need to do one thing with regard to, to the city. And, and if they can try to do that, and that's, it's one very simple thing, and it's look here first. When it comes to looking for, for products or services or any type of, of thing that you could like to have or want to have, you know, I, it's hard to look beyond Snellville to find it. I, I think if you really look close at the retail establishments, at the professional services that are within our city limits, medical, you look there, it's hard if you're really looking for something, if you don't find it in Snellville, it is hard to do. Now, I hope everybody would agree with that. And one of the things that I think sometimes we do is that we get in the habit of just going, well, we need to go across the borders or across town. And, and the, the, the businesses of this fine city need the support of their citizens. And I just challenge all of our citizens to just do a simple thing. Look here first when you're looking for something that you want to buy, a service that you need to have. And it's just a, you know, it's just something I really believe in. I think that the community that 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 can buy from itself can be very, very productive and very, very successful. So I just encourage all citizens uh, to do that uh, with the the new Snellville Tourism and Trade Association that's been established. Um, many fine events are coming to the city that, that we haven't had the luxury of having before. Uh, I hope. A lot of you came out for the fall festival. What a glorious day that was. And, and, you know, we have conversations with a lot of the folks that are here, and they're just like, man, I just can't wait for 2012 because it's just going to get bigger and better. But the citizens can make it bigger and better. And the volunteers that, that devote all of their time without a dime's worth of pay, without a, a, any almost none recognition, still come out here and, and spend their time making sure that the citizens have a wonderful opportunity to have uh, an event to go to. So go on the Snellville, uh, the, the STAT website, the Snellville Tourism and Trade website. You know, there's 800 plus businesses right there. You know, there's plenty to find and plenty to do right here in Snellville, and I want to encourage you all to do that. And again, I, I want to say that I'm very proud to sit here and represent all of Snellville. And I thank you all again for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman uh, Howard. Uh, Councilwoman Krauss, any comments? Yes, uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I also uh, ditto uh, Councilman Howard, and I am very honored to represent you all. And I have um, very positive, positive things are going to happen here in Snellville. And I would like to mention that um, STAT, Snellville Tourism and Trade, and I are researching efforts to add a family event to the community in front of City Hall on the green known as a beach party. And at this time, we are in early research mode, but hopefully sometime during the early summer, Snellville can enjoy their own beach right on the green with music, vendors, sand, and fun for all ages. Again, thank you. Council Member Emmanuel, any comments? Yeah, that's Emmanuel, by the way. <coughs> it's an honor to be able to serve the citizens of Snellville <coughs> as a member of this council. I ran for office because as a council member, I can help make Snellville a better place to live and to work. I want to thank the 2,118 citizens who voted for me, even though I ran unopposed. I consider that a mandate to work for the best interest of the cities through government and personally. One project I'm really enthused about, it's been in the works for a few months, it's called Give Hunger the Boot. It'll help the Southeast Gwinnett Co-op raise funds to buy food for local families who are sorely in need. There are some flyers in the back if you'd like more information. 
We already have a number of local businesses that will be participating, so in the next few months, you will see the boot all around Snellville. I appreciate the opportunity to be part of this council, and during the next four years, I'm committed to making Snellville a place that everyone can be proud of, even more than they are today. Councilman Woods. First, I would like to congratulate Ms. Couts on her victory. I look forward to working with you, getting to know you better, work through our differences, and hopefully work together to do what is right for our city. I also want to welcome our three new colleagues, Council Members Diane Krause, Dave Emanuel, and Bobby Howard. Although I have known Diane for many years, I've only recently gotten to know Dave and Bobby. These are three outstanding individuals, free-thinking, independent spirits that share a single goal of doing what is best for this community. It is encouraging to me to hear about the projects that have been spoken about by our new members. Not only have they stepped up to run for office and take on the responsibilities of running the city, but I have every confidence, but they've also bring something more to the table. I have every confidence that all three of their ideas will come to fruition. I look forward to working with all five of my colleagues on the council to continue striving for what should be our most important goal, to make Snellville a place where everybody is proud to be somebody. Along those lines of making us proud, I would like to commend Public Works Department, led by Gay Johnson, on their receiving their award this afternoon, designating Salvo as a Keep Georgia Beautiful Recycling City. Congratulations. In the mid 80s, the Snellville JCs presented the city with a memorial to honor Vietnam veterans. I'm sure you're all familiar with it. It has a prominent place in front of City Hall. When I was senior vice commander of Snellville VFW Post 4180 in the 90s, we would, ray, we would lay a wreath on the, memori on, on the memorial each Veterans Day and would have a Memorial Day program each May with prominent speakers and the commanders of the American Legion Post and the VFW jointly laying a wreath at his base. What some of you may not remember is that when it was moved, from across the street to his new position of prominence, it had an internal flame on the crown of the monument. It is my intention, through the use of private funds, to return the flame to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. That is what was intended. The internal flame gave the monument stature and acted as a daily reminder to those who passed by of the special significance that the flame represented. This past Friday, unlike other cities in the county, Veterans Day passed very uneventfully in Snellville. Like the loss of the eternal flame, I find this absolutely unacceptable. I'm hoping to renew our community show of appreciation for all of our veterans with a ceremony on Veterans Day 2012 where we will relight the eternal flame with the hope that it will stay lit as a beacon of freedom for as long as this building stands, as a reminder that there is nothing free about freedom. Councilman Savar, any comments? Uh, very, again, a lot. I just wanted to congratulate our new mayor, Ms. Kelly Couts. This is a great day for the city of Snellville. I look forward to continue to work with you for the better of our citizens. I pray to Jesus to guide you with heavenly wisdom in this endeavor. This is not a uh, short five minute job. Also, uh, all my best wishes to the new council Mr. Emanuel, Mrs. Krauts, and Mr. Howard, uh, I, look, I look forward 
to uh, a fruitful accomplishments together again for the better of our city. I'd like to recognize my friends and fellow church members from the First Nelville Baptist Church tonight and also Briar Lake Baptist Church and all the citizens that made time to come in for this uh, wonderful, glorious <coughs> time uh, to uh, begin a new, uh, a new uh, vision for our, our city with uh, the, our new council members. Thank you. God bless you. And again, congratulations to everybody. Now on to the mayor's report. Uh